Great day, everyone. This is Yathis Johnson, and welcome to 3CP TV. Again, my name is Yathis Johnson. I am the founder and president of Third Culture People, 3CP. And I'm excited today to again be hosting another episode of 3CP TV, which is our media resource, helping individuals become third culture people, where you learn to embrace a greater variety of identities and you learn to skillfully bridge the gap between our differences. So today we're excited because when you watch 3CP TV, you learn how to connect with people from anywhere at any time in anywhere in the world. So again, you connect with anyone at any time at anywhere in the world. And so today we are connecting with someone all the way in Lebanon. She is a friend. Uh, we're developing this friendship. And again, I've met Ermer through social media, LinkedIn, and her name is Ermer uh, Vartanian. Uh, uh, Balian, and, and she'll, she'll correct me. She'll get this right. So I'll have her pronounce her name and how you can connect with her because she's a special person. She is in the field that the very field that I I'm in, which is connecting with people, helping people learn how to uh, develop cultural intelligence and how to uh, be uh, uh, inclusive and in working with others throughout their uh, careers and just developing these strong relationships. So I'm, I'm so blessed. We're so excited to have Irma with us. She has a bachelor's uh, degree in pure math. She has an MBA. Um, she has an Armenian Lebanese background. She has worked she has lived, she has uh, uh, done wonderful things, not just in uh, the Middle East, but also in North America and in Europe. So she has experience living and playing and, and working in North America, Europe, and the Middle East. So uh, just, she is truly what I would call a third culture person. Truly a third culture person. So, so Irma, thank you for agreeing to be a part of this with us. We are just happy that you have taken the time your, of your busy schedule to be on 3CP TV. Would you just say hi, hi to our audience? Hello, everyone. Hello, Yetis. How are you? I'm so I'm happy to be well. with you. Yeah, and we're happy to have you. Um, we just see the work that you're doing. We're excited about your work and how you're making an impact in our world. So, so Irma, um, you've agreed to be a part of this and uh, we're going to continue to develop our friendship. Um, Absolutely. But let me say this, when you are a part of the third culture people movement, the 3CP movement, you will not only grow personally, but you will grow professionally, allowing you to expand beyond your imaginations and limitations. And so that's what we're about. We wanna bring in professionals like you, like you, Irma, to help us, to help our audience become third culture people. So would you just give us a more detailed intro of yourself because you can tell it better than I can. And start with pronouncing your name so that our audience gets it right. Okay. Uh, I'm Irma Vartanian Balian. I was born in Lebanon. I was raised um, partly in the Middle East and North America. I've lived and traveled across these continents, Europe, North America, and the Middle East. And I had the privilege to be around the world. So um, I have a master's degree in protocol and soft diplomacy, and I'm an ICQ global uh, licensed practitioner. Um, I coach and train individuals and professionals, um, leaders across cultures, and um, I, uh, I, I love what I do, by the way, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, culture and third culture, as you said, is part of my DNA. Mm. I love doing it, and I, I, because it's part of me, it's mm. so natural, like we, you were saying, yet as before. And it's like second nature for me. So wow. when I work, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like, I, you know, I could yeah. be doing it for hours and yes. it's just, it feels like 
it's it, I'm doing this as a gift for myself. Yeah. yeah. So um, it is truly uh, wonderful. I've been in the corporate world actually for 20 years, and that's mm -hmm. my background. So that's why my focus is more in the corporate field. Yes. And uh, I've uh, had my business for five years. I'm the founder mm -hmm. of Protocol Wise, and I train also individuals in soft skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, communication is uh, something that um, I train people in how to communicate. And I also do special trainings for women leaders. Mm. So uh, wow. that's yeah, that's part of what I do, and uh, I I don't like to say it as work. I enjoy it. So yeah. that's part of my yeah. enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so when you enjoy something, you just bring a lot of passion, a lot of energy to it. You, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and it's transformative. Uh, definitely. Yeah. And uh, you know, as you said, it's it's something. It's it's like a journey. You mm -hmm. start. And from one year to another, you feel like things evolve, things change, the way you do things change, and thereby you also change. Mm -hmm. uh, while you are training others, it's like as if that training is, is part of um, partly training yourself as well. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it. And that's how you are able to um, do something for people around you, but at the same time grow yeah, uh, yeah. as a person. So, 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 so Irma, you, you, you said this, that it's like work, isn't like work for you. It's, it's like play. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. what I'm hearing is that, you know, you being like a third culture person, like, how do you, how do you just navigate through these various contexts, cultural contexts, like North America, you know, several countries in Europe, uh, several countries in the Middle East, how do you, how do you do that? Like, that could be so challenging and daunting and overwhelming for people to be able to navigate through these different cultural uh, contexts. Right. So the first thing that you need to take into account is that the way you think is not uh, the absolute truth. It's not a universal mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you might see things from your own perspective. Yeah. And you might think that it's the rational way of doing things. Mm -hmm. But that is only one perspective. Yeah. And when you realize this, that's the first step mm -hmm. to be able to grow and be able to connect with others. Mm. Because um, you might be doing something in your own country or in your own culture in a certain way. Right. And then you go to another uh, continent, let's say, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, another country, another culture, they do things differently. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a different mindset. And you have to be open, you have to be uh, receptive, you have to be able to um, realize that things are different. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean bad or worse, they're just different. And you have to accept it. And that's yeah. part of part of the beginning of what you need to do in order to um, communicate with others. And that's the that's that's fundamental. You know, yep. um, if you want to connect with others, mm -hmm. you have to know how to communicate. Mm. Yeah, and that's what you do as part of your part of the one of the offerings that you have. While I can remember this. Irma, can you help our audience understand how they can connect with you if they wanted to know more about your services, more about what you do? So what's a great way for them to connect with you? Yeah. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, well, we were able to connect through LinkedIn, you and I, yep. Yep. on social media um, and uh, on my website, protocolwise, www.protocolwise.com. And uh, through my Facebook, through my um, Instagram account, uh, Protocol Wise, I'm, I'm uh, available through Protocol Wise in all those social media accounts. And mainly LinkedIn is the best way if, you know, uh, people have the LinkedIn account. Okay. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm on all social media platforms. So Wonderful. it's easy to connect with mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Thank you, Amr. Really, really appreciate that. So, Amr, tell us, how have you been called to use your gifts 
your talent, your skills to solve a problem throughout society or heal a pain in our world? Yeah, that's that's a very good question. Uh, yeah, it's very deep, actually. Mm, mm. Uh, you know, uh, because my background is in maths, mm -hmm. so I'm automatically switched to problem solving all the time. Mm. But, um, you know, in order to solve problems, you need to understand the other person. Because mm. uh, when you use your mathematical um, way of thinking, you have to realize that you are dealing with people, you are dealing with humans, you are dealing with emotion. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when uh, things can get a little bit um, tricky sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not difficult, but you have to know how to navigate through that. Mm. And you need to know how to communicate. That mm -hmm. I cannot emphasize more. Yeah. Because, um, you know, because of lack of communication or or a lack of awareness of how to communicate, a lot of times people just um, get into conflicts and they're not able to solve them, unfortunately, and things yeah. get worse. Mm. That's the first step. You have to know how to communicate and you have to have empathy. Um, mm. Powerful uh, word, empathy, yeah. It's, it's very important because you would you would think that um, you know you, you know how to solve a problem, yeah. and you would go to someone else and just uh, you know offer a solution, which mm -hmm. in your mind is the right solution. But then again, things don't work out, and then you wouldn't understand what happened. Mm. That always happens with uh, negotiations as well. Mm -hmm. So the first step after the, the communication is to understand that there are other perspectives. There are other ways of seeing things mm -hmm. and respecting those differences. It's very mm -hmm. important to respect the difference because yeah. if, if I would think that my mindset is the correct mindset and I know how to approach this because I've had a certain experience and then I would go to someone else say that, listen, you know, I've been there, I've done that, this is it. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna solve the problem. That's not right. how it's gonna, you know, some, sometimes people um, refuse a solution. Yeah. Not because it may be the right, the, 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 the wrong solution, but because it might be the wrong approach. Wow. And wow. that's very important to know how to approach people because at the end of the day, yeah. Uh, people notice how you talk to them more than what you say to them. <laughs> that is so like, true. That is yeah. so true. Sometimes you might be saying what they have to hear, but they refuse to hear it because yeah. of the way you communicate with them. Yeah. So, uh, and, and this is something that does not have to necessarily be with a different culture, uh, different mm -hmm. culture, meaning people from um, a different country or different racial background or mm -hmm. diff different age, uh, uh, mm -hmm. from a different age bracket. Yeah, uh, it could be someone from your own team who has a different right. mindset, and you have to know how to approach. Mm. So these are important um, aspects. And another thing to to understand or ease the pain is realize that uh, you need to have a humane approach. Mm. Right? I mean, yeah. when you have empathy, it's not enough. You know, you do have the empathy. Okay, you understand the other person. Sometimes you put yourself in the other person's shoe sure. that you think that, okay, um, I know how you're thinking. I know what you want or this. But, you know, let's have a humane side as well. With yeah. all this pandemic that happened yeah. and with all the hardship that the whole world went through. The whole world, yeah. It, it's, it's important to have a humane side of you and that's not a weakness that's right Up until now a lot of people thought that if you show um a humane side that that's gonna uh, be interpreted as being vulnerable mm. that's not necessarily true that's you know right. if i i uh, i i show a humane side i show compassion i show yeah. uh, humility <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. humility yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, people think that that's a weakness and that's sad, right. 
And that's why a lot of times people just don't connect. You know, sometimes people think that they say the right thing. Mm -hmm. They have the right approach, mm -hmm. um, have the right mindset. Okay. But you also need to remember that you're dealing with humans. Okay. We're mm -hmm. not machines. That's right. Yeah. And I and, always and, say this, Amber, we need to humanize each other. Because, because the way the way that people hurt another person or even um, uh, kill other people is through dehumanizing. Um, yes. But when we humanize each other, it brings about that humane approach, that empathy, that compassion, that yes. humility that's needed. So yeah, you're spot on. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So let me let me let, let me pivot here. And I've got maybe two more questions. Um, one question I'd like to ask is, what are what are two or three key lessons you've learned in your five years of, you know, running your own business as an entrepreneur? Yes, um, I, you know, I noticed that although I'm a committed person, mm -hmm. I noticed that commitment is even more serious when you have your own business. Mm. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> so it's not it's not only about it's not only about being responsible and um, uh, organized, but it's really committing to this to this as as if you commit to to your own life in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's it. It's, it's yours. It's your baby. It's there, and and you need to nurture it to grow it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that you know, I didn't realize until I had my own business. Mm. And another thing is uh, to emphasizing the, uh, the fact of seeing things from another's perspective, because when I offer something, I would think that I'm offering the best I can give, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. And which is good, which is good. You have to do your best, but sometimes your best is not enough because right. your best is according to your own perception. Wow. And what, what I would think that, you know, uh, this might be perfect. It might not be perfect for you. Wow. So I have to know how to uh, manipulate that, how to modify it mm -hmm. and, and find out what is exactly perfect to you. Wow. Not That's perfect good. to me. Right. So these are things, yeah, these are things that these are uh, things that I haven't given it a thought before but mm -hmm. once I started with my own business I realized that no these are essential things that I have to consider so yeah. um, these have been really uh, a, a good good set of lessons for me yeah because um, I, I take those not only in my work but mm -hmm. I project it in my life as well yeah um yeah. hey and let me let me do this we got a couple we got we, we got another minute or so and I wanted to get this in. Um, tell us three things about your culture that you would want and like the audience to know. Oh, good. Yeah. But my culture, uh, we're a culture of uh, resilient people, mm. big time resilient, because, um, you know, as Lebanese and as Armenian, I've mm -hmm. um, had, uh, you know, in, in my Lebanese uh, history and uh, Armenian history. We had dark history. Yeah. We learned to be resilient. Mm. And um, we have learned to see setbacks mm -hmm. as an experience to learn from. Wow. Not necessarily as something that will hold us back and mm. put us in a depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, you know, as, as Nietzsche has said, it's what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have that. Yeah. Uh, and, and resilience is crucial when you are doing business, when you are mm -hmm. in a situation where you face failure sometimes. The failure right. is part of life. Mm -hmm. And we all go through that somehow Absolutely. in personal life, corporate life, whatever, you know, career, anything. And uh, bouncing back is important. So yeah. uh, in, 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 you know, Lebanese culture, we have that big time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another thing is flexibility. We're a culture where uh, because mm -hmm. we are resilient and because we have seen a lot of challenges and hardships, mm -hmm. we are flexible. 
and yeah. adapt to uh, to different uh, approaches and lately different norms. Uh, mm. Just like the whole world is trying to adapt and be flexible, mm -hmm. so this is part of the culture here, and it's um, you know it's been there for um, you know since 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 I remember it's been around. And um, wow. one one last thing is uh, networking. Mm. Networking is really part of the business know-how here. Mm -hmm. uh, people mm -hmm. use networking in order to develop business relationships. And um, social and business relations are sometimes mixed. Okay. And this is looked as uh, a positive because I wouldn't want to do business with someone I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, especially if my business involves uh, customers, um, you know, selling things to customers, I would want to know about mm -hmm. how they do things, right? And mm -hmm. um, if I talk to them, if I have this, this you know, social uh, interaction with them, I would know more about my customer or my audience. Mm -hmm. So networking is, um, is, is part of how we do business here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and we, ha we have realized, you know, uh, in the big corporations as well, how important networking is and yeah. how much that uh, plays a positive role in yeah. your career or in your uh, business, uh, in your business. So, so Irma, what I'm hearing is your culture, um, resilience, flexibility, and networking are three key things that you want people to know uh, about your culture. So listen, we so appreciate you joining us here on 3CP TV. Folks, we are out of time. And just one closing word that you would have for our audience, um, Ermer. Uh, well, I, I, I think that learning about others and learning about differences, respecting the differences are uh, really important things, important ways to raise awareness and um, learn about others. And when we learn about others and we realize that there are differences and differences are beautiful, God has created diversity yeah, and we right. should embrace that. Yeah. And, uh, and once we do that, we will have more peace and we will have more uh, smooth communication across the world. I love that. I love that. So, folk, again, 3CP TV, where you learn to connect with anyone at any time from anywhere in the world.